G'day guys, Andrew Dwight, SketchUp Pro 18 released today. I'm going to run you through a couple of the, the quick and easy things to find and some of the new features that are available. I'm going to give it a good workout with some larger models and see how it deals with uh, plugins, see how it deals with uh, extra geometry and see how it renders visually. I think you'll be impressed. Cheers. Okay, so we're opening up SketchUp for the first time and you'll notice some changes. Obviously we have our character change and it is changed to Stacy. Now there's some reasonably large changes here which are, are very handy and give you easier access and to associate more information with the model. As you all know, I'm a massive advocate of BIM. There's also some other cool features as well. So we can toggle, hide on and off from here. We can lock, uh, receive and don't receive shadows, basically. We can also add things like price, which is pretty cool. Size, URL, status and so on, which enables you to just quickly add information to your model. And it's a big advantage, I believe. Before we get it too far into it, uh, SketchUp 18 Pro will work with 64 bits of Window 18, uh, sorry, Window 8, Windows 10, Mac, uh, which is El Capitan, uh, Sierra, and High Sierra. So that's kind of handy. Note that o Operation System 10.10 .10 Yosemite will not be supported in SketchUp 18. So if you've got an old version, you're going to need to update it. Quickly dock this back over here. We're going to get into some uh, some new features, some quick features. All right, so what I have here is, I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to quickly push and pull it. It's been sketch up for years. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a section. Okay, now, the first thing to come up is not the ability to add the section, it's to name the section. So I'm going to call this one Andrew section. And I'm going to, in the symbol, I want to go AS1. place okay and I'm going to place my section here you'll notice that I now have the ability to change the text written on the section cut which is a big help but you'll also notice that it actually automatically filled the section cut and if I move it it's kind of like scalp but you know really cool I'm going to undo it and go control Z control Z get rid of that again and now I'm going to offset this box here and I'm going to push the center out of it. I'm going to go back and I'm going to create my section cut again. Yeah. Uh, whatever. I think you get the idea with that already. Place. Okay. And that's a really cool feature. You can change the colors and everything in that. Uh, there's, some, there's a lot of things that you can do. Let's move it around and see what happens. You now have solid section fills. That's a real advantage. You can also access and find things through your outliner uh, with your section planes. They're, they're a lot better. Sections have made a huge difference in the way that SketchUp works uh, for the noobs and for the existing professionals. You'll also notice uh, that if you go to your styles, which would be over here, if it's not, just go up to the top window, default tray, sections, make sure it's ticked. And if you go to edits, and then you go to the model settings here. You can now change the fill color, which I mentioned before, the section line width, uh, or you can turn the fills off altogether if you prefer not to have them. Let's have a look at what happens when we change the section fill. Let's change it to beautiful cyan. Okay, let's have a look and see what happens. There we go. That's pretty cool. I like what they've done there. Later on, we'll go through the performance. They've actually done some huge improvements with the performance of section planes. One last thing I'd like to add to the sections is Outliner. Now, look, Outliner uh, previously uh, has always been a little bit slow. If you go to your window default tray, you can go down and you can select Outliner. Now, I don't recommend drawing with Outliner. However, I haven't tested it and we'll give it a bit of a test later. But you'll notice that I have the ability to toggle my section. So if I went into this model and added another section, uh, here. Section two. Call three, three, three in place. Okay. You notice that I have the quick ability to be able to look at this. Now, I'm, as I said, I'm going to give this a good run later, uh, and we're going to see how uh, SketchUp deals with uh, a larger model. It'd be interesting to see how we go with that liner turned on. Regardless, I, I still. Don't recommend having outline on until you actually need it. Uh, you know, if you can just turn it off and on, 
you can always model faster. It's all about efficiency, as we know. It's getting the job done. It's not all about the software. I think an interesting test to do from here would be to stick it back into SketchUp 17 and see what happens. And usually what I would do is go File, Save a Copy As. All right, but it's not saved at all, so I'm going to save it. And just get whatever, yep. Save. Yep. And I go File, Save a Copy As. Let's see, it's on the desktop, so it's easy for me to find. And I'll go and open it up in, in 18 in a second. You're wondering how to back save a SketchUp file, and that's one thing I really like about SketchUp is they allow you to back save into older versions. You just basically click down the bottom there and you save as. You save. Edit this file I'm going to open with SketchUp 17. And this is the opening time. I guess this is a little bit longer. I'm running a video software recording at the same time on a large screen, so it would open quicker than this. There we go, yes. And now we should be able to compare the two line types according to. Let me just close that down. And okay, so now we'll have a bit of a look at the difference in line types. So you can see that uh, there's no section fill obviously in the back save. Uh, let's have a look at, at, at those other things. Okay, so if we get in closer here, now this is a high resolution screen, guys. The lines are nice and clean. Uh, Let's have a look at the other one. Still pretty good. Looks like a little bit more definition and thinness in the line, and that's going to make some huge uh, differences. Uh, I guess if we want to look at, say, a model, because this is reasonably basic, we can probably go and check out one of my models. Uh, and let's have a look at the lines up here. They're pretty crisp. I'm happy with what that is. This is a large model, by the way. As I said before, I'm going to put it through its paces and see how it deals with a lot of geometry. Uh, there's obviously hidden lines turned on there, so I'm going to turn those off. Hidden geometry turned off. I reckon it's going to create a beautiful layout drawing. And as I said before, I am going to run this through its paces. And I have a large model here. This is a, a $25 million job that uh, one of our Plusbeck users drew up before. And running through this model, uh, you notice there's a little bit of lag there, but it is a big model with a lot of information. Uh, it's got a, a high level of detail in this model. So I'm pretty happy with that performance. I'm super happy with the crispness of the lines. And I think that's a real improvement. SketchUp 17 was great compared to SketchUp 16, yet this has just come leaps and bounds forwards. The computer I'm using has a decent spec graphics card. It does have a nice screen. If you're not getting that kind of crispness in your lines, you'll, it's worth your time if you're a professional to spend money on that hardware uh, to make it sing. Because you know what, it's all about getting the job done as efficiently as possible. And even though a decent screen might sound expensive, it's really nice to work on to see a model uh, in these types of views. I'm happy with it. I'm going to say super happy with it. Uh, I think I've got some section cuts in this model as well, which are actually, let's have a look. I'll give them a try if I don't. Okay, it doesn't appear so. Let's let's stick a section cut in. I'm going to go to all. Oh, here we go. Okay. So I was running this before on 17, and it ran pretty well. Uh, Let's run a new section cut and see how that actually works with this. Yeah. Section cut six. I'm going to place it. I'm going to call it AD because I'll be able to find it. Place. Okay. All right. So what's happened there is it's actually turned on the rest of my section planes, which is probably my fault. So let's not get too caught up in that. Select this section cut here move it through the model and I've got the structure turned off in this particular view so let's just see what happens when we go to our styles now edit model view uh, turn our section fills on oh wow that's pretty cool brilliant in my opinion that's the first time I've tried that guys and it's uh, I'm very happy with that uh, let's stick a little bit more uh, geometry in there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go down and I'll select all of my layers. 
and turn them all on. Okay, and we'll move that section plane. You know what, that's working really fast. For a large model, by the way. Um, let's turn our section planes off. Yep, super impressed with that. Uh, I've never seen anything ever come out of the uh, on my computer that runs as swiftly as that. So well done. Switch on back over to uh, my original model that I had there before. Okay, let's do a little bit more play here. Okay, so rectangles or there's been some changes, and these are cool changes going to help out a lot. I'm going to turn my sections off. Uh, at the moment, just so we don't get caught up and wonder where our drawing went. Now, I always use keyboard shortcuts, so R is rectangle. And you'll notice by default that the way that SketchUp 17 works is it always drew from the center. Obviously, whether you wanted to draw up, down, left, or right buttons will, will do that. However, now if you push Control or Option on a Mac, you can now draw from the center of the rectangle, which is kind of handy, especially if you're trying to get things in the center of geometry. So, for instance, over here, you see I have my center point. If I push control, and I made a meal of that, there we go, push control, I can now draw my rectangle from the center point, and that's going to save a lot of time. That's a huge improvement for speed of draw. The other notable changes is that the value control box reads the tape measure very, very quickly. So tape measure tool here, or T, as a keyboard shortcut. If I want to know the length of this line, you'll notice down in the VCB down here that I have information about that item so and if i go to a face i also have square meters or whatever the units you've set in your things the uh, small changes that i notice as well so for instance they've updated the icon in the circle no biggie i don't think it's going to help your workflow any arc seems to be the same well, there's also a couple of things that i mentioned before as well was uh, let's have a look at uh, some plugins and how they work. Look, I'm going to quickly just grab uh, a terrain import. Now, SketchUp's made some improvements. Now, one of the biggest outcries I heard from the public was the, that the Google Maps has now gone and the resolution has lowered. Let's have give it a quick test and see how we go. So I'm just going to use this plugin, which basically allows me to uh, access uh, this. And I've gone to Sydney. I'm going to choose somewhere that has a little bit of uh, resolution we'll compare it and also slope on it we'll compare it to what would have been in SketchUp 17 and see how the resolution has changed now this may depend on where the region has been selected from as well so I'm going to select this region here grab it just say which is a small section here you say grab Okay, let's import it over here. Okay, now the resolution isn't that great on this particular model, but it may also be the map. It may not have anything to do with SketchUp. I did try the Opera House earlier, and it does have a better resolution than previous. I am going to just quickly just look at my terrain, and I'm going to turn my uh, location snapshot off. And for some reason, I have a bit of an issue there. It could possibly be uh, something other than what we're talking about here. Here we go, we're back again. Right, okay. I just basically turned the wrong one off. And look, the resolution, in my opinion, still could be better. I think it was better in Google Maps. Uh, however, it's a lot better than what it was. I will go and show you the Opera House, which is what I did in the other version of SketchUp 17. And when I looked at this resolution versus the resolution uh, in SketchUp 18 Pro, it was a lot better. And I'll quickly just pause it and then get to show you that. Test the geolocation through here. You need to go to Windows, Model Info, and basically you then need to search for location. So I'm going to clear the location at the moment, add a location because I've already had one before. <clears throat> you know, Sydney Opera House, because it's something famous we'd all recognise. 
and go to say here, select the region, move it over, grab. Okay, it happened pretty quick. Let's, let's actually change back the other one. Get rid of that. Let's have a look at the resolution difference between the other SketchUp 17 that I have open and the one that I have open now. So you see that tab. Okay, it's about look. I don't notice any major differences between those two. Uh, however, it is noted that it was it does have a high resolution, and maybe it's just me looking at that particular map. So I'm going to just go and delete this here. I did mention plugins before, and as you guys probably know, I develop Plusbeck because uh, I'm into my BIM world. It works fine, guys. Uh, it works quick. Uh, with SketchUp 18, I'm very happy with the results. Um, so yeah, like I mean, by all means, give it a try. Bang, right click, wall, generate roof from walls. Everything I test, I couldn't break it. I gotta say that it seems to be more stable SketchUp 18, uh, which is a real benefit uh, for us professionals. Notably, it appears as though SketchUp Make 18 is no longer being released. It'd be interesting to see what the community thinks about that. However, my understanding is that SketchUp 17 Make is still available and ready for you guys to use. So, uh, look, I hope it helps, guys. If you've got any questions, I'm going to do a detailed uh, layout example on SketchUp 18 Pro, and there's some huge uh, benefits that I see, including or uh, even in SketchUp itself, a uh, new DWG importer, uh, fixed IFC. Uh, so sometimes we lose attributes in IFC uh, when we're exporting to other programs. Uh, so, you know, I think there's a huge improvement in SketchUp 18 versus SketchUp 17 Pro. So check it out, guys. Look forward to hearing what you think. Cheers.